Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Creator bringing to you a brand new video. If my voice sounds weird, <laughs> it's because I have a cold, so I'm sorry, right now my throat is itching me so bad, <laughs> but you have to go. So, in today's video, I just want to have a chat with you as I sketch about my battle with perfectionism. A battle I have now declared <coughs> on my perfectionism. Like I've always known that I'm a perfectionist. It literally stems from, I'm sure, maybe from many people too. When you're a kid and you make mistakes and the adults around you just scream, how can you make that mistake? How can you do that? And you just want to do everything correct off the bat just for them not to ever scream at you again. <laughs> At least that's what I think my own stem from. But I was with these parents and everyone like, how can you, like, making you feel stupid for making a mistake? So now if everything is perfect, they can't scold you. <laughs> I think it also stems from when I was a kid, I used to always get things correct. <laughs> I always got high marks in school. I had no idea how or why. And then when I went secondary school, work actually got hard. I didn't understand this stuff and I wasn't making as good marks as I used to. And all my teachers would be like, what happened? You were so smart. What, what? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm doing the same thing that I used to do. I don't know why I'm working. And it just feels hard <laughs> trying to do things if I know I'm not going to be good at it or perfect, quote unquote, <laughs> because the adults around you just seem disappointed. <laughs> so I would think, I think that's where my perfectionism comes from. If you can't do it perfect, why try it at all? That's a very harmful mindset to have, by the way. <laughs> we as humans, we learn from mistakes. We don't learn from our successes. Now, do we? Mm? <laughs> so, one of my drawbacks of perfectionism is it stops me from trying. If something seems hard, if I try something and it seems hard, I give up. I literally give up. <laughs> it was hard for me to open a bank account, I gave up. <laughs> and then I'll start back up and I'll be like, oh, why was this hard? And then I'll reach the next part which hard for me and I'll be like, okay, I give up. I'm right now I'm at the at I give up stage right now. <laughs> I'm gonna start back. I don't know when, but I'm gonna start back. <laughs> and that how happened with the sketching. So one thing is when I first started digital illustration, digital art, I sucked at it. I bought the tablet and I thought okay I could sketch good in my sketchbook. It's transferable, the skills from the sketchbook to the tablet, it's the same. Wrong. <laughs> it was not the same. Drawing on a digital tablet is totally different from drawing on paper. And I'll start and I'll be like, I hate this and I'll stop because I wasn't good at it. The only reason I still went with digital illustration is because I really wanted to learn it. I love how it look when other people do it. And I took a 31 day challenge. I think it was Witchtober. Yeah, I think it was because I drew my OC Moonlight for 31 days. And the improvement from day one to day 31 was immaculate. It was huge. <laughs> and if I had given into my perfectionism, like, oh, I started it, like, I would have never gotten out as good as I am now. But I still think part of my perfectionism problem with digital art is I never just sketch. So, <laughs> and by that I mean, when I was doing Witchtober this year, I did it on paper and sketching on paper was so much more easy. I don't know why I love how all the humanoid characters came out their faces how i drew the, oh, i love how i drew their nose how i drew their lips but yet if i try to do that digitally i 
don't like how it comes out <laughs> and I think that's when it hit me like I don't sketch digitally so the thing about a sketchbook is it keeps you agile it like greases that muscle in your brain that likes to draw and sketch and the more you practice in your sketchbook the easier it is to do finished illustration and also it's fun just idea dump on your pages and it's like so fun but i never do that digitally one of the artists i like to watch online is Ugo josh and he would just say let's sketch and he just sketch no finished illustration and it made me think every single illustration i did digitally was a finished one i never just sketch for fun i never sketch for practice when i first got my tablet i gave up i did finish illustrations there as well well as finished as i could get them <laughs> but if and then when i it was determined to keep going i drew finished illustrations of moonlight for each each day and i've never just sat down and sketched digitally and <laughs> that ain't good <laughs> that's why it always feels awkward to use the pen while sketching uh yet i'm totally fine doing line art and the coloring but when it comes to sketching even though it's my favorite part of any illustration which is sketching i have more fun doing it traditionally than digitally and now i'm determined to keep a digital sketchbook that could be a thing maybe i should look it up if it's not tm tm it's mine it's mine my idea <laughs> so and i think maybe this is a way that i could learn clip studio at, or critter as well so I've seen people use Clip Studio and I mean I paid my money I should learn how to use it but of course I wasn't perfect at it in the beginning so uh, yeah so maybe I should do an next 30 day challenge <laughs> and maybe just sketching in it just sketching no, no pressure to have a finished illustration would help me get over that fear so guys tell me 30 days of drawing what tell me tell me tell me cats bun bun because the way i draw bun bun here i'm like yeah i i i i, <laughs> I ain't do bun bun justice in this sketch <laughs> but let's battle perfectionism together because <laughs> guys 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 please i need all the help i can get please tell me in the comments below ways to overcome or trick perfectionism because my brain tricks me into thinking hey you're gonna suck at this so why are you even trying again not a good mindset to have at all i don't know if this is a result of my perfectionism but on tiktok i heard that some people when they do a task they just get up and go and do the task and sometimes they just do it automatically <laughs> by that i mean they don't have to think about it to go and do the task me on the other hand i think about every single step between me and the task that i have to do so let's say brushing teeth so if you have to brush your teeth you get up and you go and brush your teeth that's not how my brain works my brain would say, okay, when I have to go and brush my teeth, I have to get off the bed, I have to scooch to the end of ed, <coughs> I have to scooch to the end of my bed. I then have to swing my feet over and find my slippers. Then I have to put on my slipper, take one step down to the drawing room, then I have to take eleven to twelve steps to another in the direction of the bathroom, then go up three steps reach my face basin then i have to open my cabinet my medicine cabinet take out my toothpaste then i have to unscrew the cap scoot the toothpaste on my toothbrush wet my toothbrush and then that's when i brush my teeth do you see how mentally exhausting <laughs> that is already just thinking about all the steps to go to brush my teeth makes me lay in my bed longer i still don't know if that's 
part of perfectionism but that's how my brain works and sometimes it just makes me <clears throat> it just makes me not want to do any tasks because i'm like it's gonna be exhausting but yet when i get up to go brush my teeth it takes like two seconds to, to reach to do it not to brush my teeth <laughs> like the thought process in doing the action versus actually doing the action is two totally different things my brain makes it seem like it's such a long drawn out process when in actuality it doesn't even take that long it's just like <laughs> why does my brain do this to me <laughs> And a dog sat back. <sighs> if who else brains works like mine? Who else brain thinks like this? And this is why most of the time when I want breakfast, I would like pancakes. I want waffles. Give me souffle pancakes. Give me muffins. Give me something good to eat. But again thinking about the steps to do it makes it seem so long so i just find myself buttering some bread and just drinking tea even though that's not what i want but yet when i do make the batter for pancakes because i make it from scratch it doesn't take as long as my brain makes it to seem so i'm like why <laughs> why does <laughs> he do this uh, and that's just like my ramble this is like my ramble on well how my brain works how my thought process are and how perfectionism sucks because we as human were imperfectly perfect i hate that word perfect again but anyhow and by that i say we find beauty in our imperfections because like natasha benefits say a face without freckles is like a sky without the stars why waste a second not loving who you are? Ugh, I love Natasha Wellenfield. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to like have like a sticker, make a sticker or something for myself that says, allow myself to mess up. We learn from your mistakes. One of those quotes. And the funny thing is, I was looking over my goal for 2023 like my goals for 2023 i didn't achieve much but hey but guess which one of my goals were guess what one of my goals were yes yes allow myself to mess up i didn't allow myself to mess up <laughs> i didn't and i'm regretting it i could make that goal for next year but i could try it because i I can't make that a goal for next year, but then I still have a few weeks left in this year. So let me see and try it. Let me mess up. Let me make a sticker that says, mess up, bitch. <laughs> learn from your mistakes. Because we learn from our mistakes, not our successes. And that is the end of my wrap <laughs> It's just my thought process. I don't think I've actually achieved anything, but sometimes just talk saying it out loud helps. So what do you guys think? How does how do you battle perfectionism? How do you battle the mental fatigue of thinking about so much time steps to do one simple task? I really need help with that one. <laughs> and let's help each other down in the comments down below. And thank you lovely so much for listening to me ramble all this time. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.